Chuck McKay. I'm down at the uh, Toronto Windsurfing Club. It's like 25 degrees out. Here we are, at April. Uh, what is it, April 12th or 11th? Uh, which is kind of crazy, but the water is still probably about seven degrees. Anyways, west wind, super gusty today. I had a chance to uh, um, try this new wing. It's a 5.0 fly from Neil Pride. Nice and powerful, really easy to hold, no flex in it. Um, challenging, challenging conditions today. Um, no problem getting up. I was on a 1,000 wing. I popped up like so fast. It was unbelievable. It's tapered at the front here, so that helps you when you're trying to reach underneath when you're first grabbing it, when it's lying in the water. Um, nice small diameter. Uh, in the summertime, they'd be great, but these conditions today are not ideal. It's probably going from about five knots to maybe 25, 30 knots at some point. So, um, But lots of fun to ride uh, and power, man. You can just pull hard on it going through jibes. So. And uh, I did one tack on it. It'll be definitely good for tax. Like I almost feel like this is as much power as like a 5.5 five F1, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know about the width. You'd have to actually compare it because it did seem a little bit wider. I did notice I touched the tips. It's balanced well. It doesn't backwind. Other wings that are similar to this uh, have a really early backwind. I found that very frustrating. This seems to just stay neutral uh, when you're in any transitions, whether it be, it be a jibe or a tack. Yeah, the handling's easy on it but it's like full on power. You need a harness. Okay. I didn't have a harness in my first session. I had it on my second session. <laughs>